Hey, what's up? This is Cody Miller, and I am doing a uh, kind of like a review tutorial on uh, basic programming for the Atari 2600. This is my Atari 2600. These are the keyboard controllers, which we'll be using to actually write the basic code in. Um, I've written up some, I've played around with this basic a little bit, and I've figured it out. And this is a piece of code for a Pong game that uh, came in the Atari manual. I wrote it down here so I could read it easier because I can barely read it in the manual. And then what everything does, all the codes, um, whore one, uh, four or two, ver two, ver one. This is these are for placing pixels on the screen. You have control of two pixels that you can control their position on the screen. Horizontal one. Horizontal 2, vertical 2, and vertical 1. Um, basically, you pick X and Y positions of the two pixels that you have control of. You don't have any control of any other ones but these two pixels that Atari gives you control of. Um, key, which is for key and press. Um, best I understand it, um, it has um, the ability to uh, read any of the keys that you press on this second controller here and if you use these two here it counts it as like a positive one or a, a negative one that's the best I can understand it and you can actually increment and decrement using the star and zero there that's what they kind of are that's the best I understand that so far and then hit actually is like you use that to see if these two pixels mentioned here um, come in contact with each other. If they do, hit contains a positive value. And here's a code, some code I wrote. And we're going to write this in. This is basically a simple piano game. And then, before we start, here is the uh, basically the keyboard layout that we're going to be using to key in stuff. And I'll, I'll explain to you how that works. I'm using it on this. I actually took this picture from coding horror um, dot com. It's like a blog by this guy that reads about his coding experience and stuff. So let's just turn this on. Get on with it. Okay. So uh, here's our coding interface. Now this looks complicated, so what I'm going to explain it real fast. Here's where you key in the program, here is some information. We can minimize the rows, as you can see each row has a different one. Um, status, program, stack. This is status area, program area, stack area, etc, etc, etc. And we can get rid of these, I'm going to press 1. And the, st and the status area is going to go away. I don't want the stack area, so I'm going to press the 3 button to make that go away. I'm also not going to need the variable, so I am, of course, going to press 4 to make that to go away. As well as I do not need the output. I only want the program area and the graphics area. And we're going to key in my uh, program here. Actually, no, I don't even want the graphics area, because I'm not going to be using that with this code. So we're just going to make that go away. And I might put that back. Yeah. And then I want the speed to execute at 60. You can choose the speed that you want the program to work out. 60 is the fastest. So let's key in this code. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so the first word is if. So we look down here. And we can see that A, that pressing this key, brings up if, but we have to first select that. So we actually toggle the color from white, we press this again, it does anything that's red, we press it again, it shovels to any key that's blue, that would put an A, shove it to green, and pressing one would press an if. So we're going to push that in to become green. I think the contrast is kind of messed up on this, because orange is green. Um, 
So we're just going to press 1 and that will key in if. Then we're going to have to shuffle because, well, no, we might not have to. We want to put in the word key. So, um, key is here. So we're going to have to shuffle to red. So we're going to have to shuffle back to white. And then back to red. And then press 9. So now we have if key. We need if key then notes. So if key, meaning if key true, meaning key pressed is true. Um, and key is here. No, wait, we already did that one. If key then. Okay, we're looking for then, which is here. So we're going to have to shuffle back to green. Since we're at red, we just press this once, twice, we're back to green. And um, press two. If key then. Now we want to put in notes. Which I believe notes. Crap, where'd it go? Notes, 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 notes. If you're wondering what note does, it actually just plays a sound corresponding to on the number that you put. Different number is a different tone. Here it is, note. So we're going to have to shuffle back to red. Um, basically, tone 1 is going to be, like I think, lower than tone 9 and frequency. Note. Okay. And we're going to want this because that's basically an equal sign. So that's if note, if key pressed, then play notes key because we want it to play the key press note sound, which is here. And I think we'll just press that and yeah, it went in. So now we make a new line. So we have to shuffle to whites and uh, press this. Now we have a new line. Then we are going to key and go to, we're going to make a loop back to that line. So go to, we shuffle to green. Key and go to. Now we have to shuffle to, now we want the number one in there, so we're going to shuffle to red. And then press one. Now we can execute the code. So we're going to shuffle to white. And, uh, see, I press this, see, run and hold. So we press star. Uh, yeah, there we go. And see, it's executing that line. So, um, as you can see, that that's a basic piano program. You can see it's just executing at 60. We can slow it down so it executes slower. So you can see now we're executing at speed 30, 15, 8, 4, 2, 1. And then there's even a step mode that we can make it where it doesn't go to the next instruction until we tell it to. Um, and that's for better debugging. But we're not going to do that. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to halt the program. I'm going to make the first version of this program by actually... I'm going to go forward a few spaces and this is a little bit more of an annoying we're just going to move, remove all that so now we just have it plays the key constantly without checking if a key was pressed and it just does that constantly and make sure it's at 60 and we can press keys as fast as we want to
It's hard to play this with one hand, but you get the idea. I'm going to stop that. Anyway, that's the basic. Um, of a uh, basic. As you can see, it's it it's not very well set up. You can tell that Atari didn't have the idea of programming basic in mind when they designed the Atari 2600. And due to the limitations of the 2600, this was about the best you could get out of the keyboard use. And this actually takes two different controller types. These are actually two controllers put together connecting one here and one here. And since they didn't make, take full advantage of the COM port when they designed the Atari 2600, they did it very simply to save money. Um, this is basically a compromise of the best they could do. Um, but yeah. Um, like I said, I got this picture from Coding Horror. Um, so that I could actually see what was going on. And thanks to that guy for actually posting the picture, so I wouldn't be struggling with looking at this. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.